Igbo Eli's can't forgive Kano for depriving them the ambience to enjoy in their village villages. William Scars highlighted a critical viewpoint attributing the escalation of insecurity in the East to individuals allegedly trained and armed by IPOM leader Anambe Kano. He suggested that Kano's approach to agitation had disrupted the previously peaceful environment in the region, lamenting loss of tranquility that Igbo Ilat had previously enjoyed in their villages. This sentiment draws a sharp contrast with the strategies employed by figures like Ghani Adams and Sunday Buhu in the Southwest, who, according to Cass, operated under the guidance of elders, clearly defined objective and a commitment to regional peace. Commitment to regional peace and well-being of the region. The well-being of the region was of paramount importance than their personal interest and ego, OPC never derived from the objective of securing your land and interest. The phrase, they don't know anything, is insulting. Who are you referring to as not knowing anything? Have you fought the Biafra war before? How old were you when Biafra war was fought? Please be guided in your use of words. I do not know how you comprehend the phrase under review. The Lens Silk asked a rhetorical question why Sands from the Southeast are not in defense team of an undercount and are not speaking up for his release. He then asked, or oh, do they know something else? In my response, I stated that they did not know anything else. I went ahead to butcher the possible reasons why Sands from the, that region are not doing much. How is that an insult? How is that an insult? Well, you see what is going on here. Now, they see what they happen here. This so called um, the indigenous people of Biafra. You understand? They say some of the Eli know if you forgive them. See, yeah, there are people in the Southeast Eastern region that are not even the indigenous people of Biafra. But those people, they are not happy with everything, the way everything is going. Those people, they know, they know sit down for fence. And they know they are, they just want to make everything end. They want to make all the whole katakata, all the soon. Their mind not touch ground for wedding day. You understand? Truly. Not just the elites, even their politicians self. Do you know that whatever that is going on in the southeastern region hindered politicians from that region also from moving forward? Yeah, it did. If you know none before, no one today. Anybody who is blaming Kano in this country is a foolish person. Kano is like a savior to the Igbos. If not him, the, if not him, the Fulani would have taken over Igbo land. So William, close him out. The ecology of the aforementioned Yoruba agitators are different from the words on the Yoruba land. And the reason is not far, is not far, first, is not far, first, the Yoruba have been in power for long and that, and that you are still in power. Kano was agitating for a nation where they have been deprived and marginalized. So your viewpoint is exactly comparing the agitation of the southeastern region and the southwest. You know, go feel work sincerely. The southeastern region, they were agitating that okay, fine. It's either you treat them equally or you understand you give them the precedency, make them see how they go feel do. You understand? But the southwest, they don't get the presidency. She gets in Koto Shele. They have ruled for quite a number of times. So it, they don't have coming out. That is not part of their own plan. They know so they will continue to rule. They are not under threat. Okay? God forgive you. We know your type. Such a reason comes from the stomach. I travel to the Southwest once or twice every year for the past 30 years, and no single notice of this evil report, apart from numerous Fulani military checkpoints and hats men roaming every nook and cranny of our vicinity, murdering and raping our sisters, mother and grandmother. Surprisingly, I returned home one day without notice of cattle messing up my flower pot. I asked why they simply said ESN is in the jungle. A huge community relief and wisdom. Hero of Ibo. So those who are coming out to say, P 
people where they come outside come talk say eh, the what's it called say now they can we approach you understand saying cause a lot of things ESM was created to fight all the Fulani hat men they were created to fight because even governors and elites you understand nobody they bring solution and then still come and I still come and I bring solutions okay now like this now you go use waiting you go use happen how else do you want a revolution to be colored? The next thing to do is reconciliation with the realization of the truth told by Emerson Abdakano. The Igbo highlights have been the worst enemy of the Igbo. Yes! They don't like their people. You have to be careful what you say about Kano. It must be supported. Okay, it must be supported. Biafra Nation is a must. A fictitious name with a fictitious identity can write anything to create a hula bello. Who is this strange bird fellow called Williams, an intruder, a busybody in other people's business? Who knows him in Igbo land? So as to speak the mind of Igbos, and I'm the kind of our hero. He will forever be our hero. To hell with higher strange Williams. Can you come out in any part of the east and say that? Now stone then you will see for your head. So don't forget Kano is why your aged parents are still in your village and still go to their farms and come back hale and hearty. Bilam's case just writing mere hate and gossip as deep dislike against Namde Kano and the evils among the tribal sectors. You hate in the you single you single Sunday will as your good tribal man that take your advice, blaming Namde Kano for heeding your advices. Praises federal government for Buhari for instigated terrorism as good in security governance measures to your nation. Measures Nigeria have lived have outlived you, package, fake gossip sprays, Yoruba face gossip tribalism system against the evil nation. Be wise. They will keep on living in fears and being in bondage in the hands of the Fulani government. The only thing I know was the way to fight for sovereignty involves town hall meetings, school planning, just like communities coming together to fight for recreation of state from the area. Is an individual effort alone, like Kano, don't listen to advice, insulting elders and teachers on ground, managing finance alone to accountability. Managing finance alone, no accountability. We are all remember that Ujuku managed a civil war alone without planning with senior officers from Lagos, bringing every other areas like rivers. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for. Turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.